you're planning to visit Sunny Viana do Castelo, the city known for its beautiful and vibrant folklore costumes along with the gold jewelry, then here are our top 10 attractions. The Citania, also known as the Old Town, was declared a national monument in 1926. One of the most notable examples of a fortified Castro settlement in the Iberian Peninsula, a visit to the Citania takes you back in time to match how the people of the Iron Age lived. Due to its strategic location on the hilltop, it was inhabited from the Iron Age until after the Roman invasions. Praia North, literally translated into North Beach, is an urban beach where you can take a stroll and see the captivating sights, as well as visit an old fort. This beach is known for its therapeutic properties due to the high concentration of algae and the abundance of rocks. Mind you, the water is really cool. At number 8 we have the Costume Museum, which houses a dazzling display of folklore costumes. Located in an imposing building, the museum showcases how young women used to dress themselves for special occasions and when they got married. It's really worth taking a peek inside. Once there, be sure to check out the Gold Museum located in the lower floor, where you can learn about the traditional methods of making and repairing traditional Viennese gold jewelry. Despite being a relatively small town, Viana do Castelo hosts numerous churches and chapels. The most important are all located within the historical center. Start off by visiting the main church built in the 15th century, then make your way to the Souls Chapel, Misericordia and San Domingos churches. These are but a few. An interesting fact is that during Easter, over 25 churches and chapels, some of which are private, are open to the public. Don't forget to check out the beautiful blue and white hand-painted tile work and of course the gilded woodwork. The Chocolate Museum Hotel was a former chocolate factory built in 1914. This building is until today a beautiful example of modernism architecture. The factory ceased to function in the building in 2004 as the company was purchased and was relocated. The building is now part of a tourism project that combines a hotel, a restaurant and a museum. This is a themed hotel, each room is a surprise and of course all about chocolate. The restaurant offers a mouth-watering menu and don't forget to visit the chocolate shop, a must-visit location for all chocolates. Prada da Liberdade is part of the revamped riverfront area of the city. Here you will find many different buildings housing the public library and numerous cafes and restaurants where you can dine al fresco. From this beautiful and charming square you may admire impressive architecture where Renaissance influence meets modern design in beautiful balance. Gillian's was a hospital ship, but now it's a museum. It houses a clinical laboratory, sterilization room, a dark room, a radiology room, operating theater, and much more. It is made distinct by its history and it is worth taking a peek inside, as it makes you travel back in time. It's open every day except Mondays from 9.30 to 5.00 p.m and 7pm in the summer. Praça da Republic is the iconic center of this lovely and colorful city. It's an ideal spot to have a coffee, a refreshing drink, relax and admire the scenery. You can admire an ancient fountain that used to supply water to the city in yesterday years. The old city hall, which is now a place for art exhibitions, as well as the imposing Renaissance building that used to be the hospital. Come along with us to this square and have a dazzling afternoon. Get a taste of local gastronomy. You can't leave Viana without trying one of Manuel Notario's famous speciality, known as the Bollers Berlin, which is a type of cream-filled donut. Located near the Custom Museum, the pastry shop only bakes a thousand fresh bolas each day, which are ready to be sold at 5. Be aware, there is always a huge lineup outside and this is almost considered a pilgrimage. At number one, we recommend visiting Santa Luzia Basilica on the hill with the same name. The construction of this imposing building, which is nestled in the Vern Hill, started in 1903 and ended in 1959. The design of the basilica was inspired in Paris Sacré-Cœur. The location offers dazzling views over the city, as well as the valley and the Atlantic Ocean. If you're courage enough, you can climb the stairs to the top of the hill, but it's easier to take the funicula. Either way, be sure to visit it. Definitely a must-see sight in this glorious city. Be sure to visit Viana do Castelo, 
colorful, historically rich and welcoming.